Okay, so now that we've got our storyboard ready to go, let's get into uh, Google Images and find us some great images. Okay, so I'm in Google. I'm just at google.com. I'm going to tap on the button up here for images so that I'm in, actually in Google Images. And with a uh, four finger swipe, let's see, yeah, I've got it all set up here. I've got a new note over here um, that is for my video. I'm going to keep track of all the, the photos that I use. I mean, you got to give these people credit, right? You just can't go out there and start taking people's photos without giving them credit. So I'm going to copy every URL for every photo that I use. Okay. So let's go into it. If I uh, refer to the storyboard here, I can see the very first one that I need is a coffee farmer. So let's just go in here and see what uh, happens here when I type in coffee farmer. Okay, now this is a really important step with doing Google image searches. Okay, you want to be able to get only high def videos, HD video, I mean, sorry, HD photos. You don't want, there's nothing worse than, you know, seeing someone's project and it's got really pixelated photos in it and they got watermarks across them. Watermarks is when something's written across the photo. You don't ever want any of that. You want really quality photos. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna tap on this HD button right here to make sure that we're only getting HD photos. Okay, see how that changed the photos that we have loaded now. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our first um, photo here. This one actually looks really good. And you can see it's loaded up. Let me just zoom in just so you can really see it. These are clear, this is a really nice clear image. You know, we can see his beard, we can see the coffee beans. Uh, it's really a good image. Uh, and that's what you're checking. Uh, this one's pixelated, but you can see the pixelization on there. We don't want that kind of a photo. And it might be loading in. It might need a little more time and it'll load in because we did tell it we wanted HD photos. So, but this one here, this is a great photo. So I'm going to save this photo. To save this photo, I'm just gonna tap and hold. And it comes up with the menu option here to save image. And I'm gonna save image. Okay, now I need to go get uh, the credit for this photo, find out who the author is, you know, what the URL is to the photo so I can give them proper credit at the end of my video. So I'm just gonna tap on the share button down here and I'm going to copy, uh, tap and hold to copy that link. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, four finger swipe back over to my, my notes here. And I'm gonna paste that in there. Okay, so there is one of my, my images that I've used and I've got the link to it so I can give him proper credit at the end. Okay, let's go ahead and do the next one here which is uh, Bolivian children. Okay, let's go do a search for that. Double check to make sure that you're on HD photos there. And I really had kind of, you know, in my kind of my brainstorming and when I did the, the storyboard there, I want to have something with more than just one child. I mean, this is, this is one child here, obviously, and it's pixelated, but then I think it's loading in. It'll come in and it'll be nice and clear there. Now it's nice and clear. We can see really nice and clear here, but that's really not, this one might be better. Um, but I wanted to kind of, the, the words, I say on our, is for their families, and this looks more like school kids. Here's what I'm talking about with watermarks. You see these little words and these little things written across? Those are what people do to protect their photos from people taking them without paying for them, okay? Now, a lot of photos are on the internet and they just, they're okay for you, you, you to use. They're under um, a, a license, basically, kind of giving everyone consent that wants to use them for non-commercial use, which in schools, that's what's non-commercial. But there's other people that are professional photographers and they want you to pay for them if you use them. So uh, these ones we just don't want to have because they have watermarks on them. Now, uh, this one's a, a pretty good little photo, but it's, it's tall and our videos are wide. So I'm really looking for wide shots here. Again, those are just look like... Um... Oh, this one is beautiful. This is an exceptional photo. Yeah, let's take this one. Uh, tap and hold. Save image, and then let's go get the link for it. Copy. 
four finger swipe over to here and paste it. Okay, now what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to get all the other photos from my um, from the storyboard here. You don't have to watch me do all that. I think you get what I'm, I'm getting at here. Just make sure your photos are, are wide photos. They're super clear, you know, they're, they're HD and they don't have watermarks on them and they're, they're good, you know, strong photos. Really turn on that artistic brain and go find me some, some great photos for your video project, okay? Uh, I'm going to see you in a few minutes once I've gathered all the photos together and then you're going to understand what we're going to do next, okay?